just who is Nick Leeson. He's like a virus. He's an agent of destruction. He's real cool. Real cool. In his own fantasy world, he was a star. I'm his wife. Why should he lie? I really don't care what people think. And what was Bearings Bank? A lot of them are just bumbling fools. This simply can't happen to chaps and men like us. We're Bearings. The truth behind the fantasy that cost £830 million. An Inside Story special Wednesday at 10.20 on BBC One. Leslie Nielsen and Paul Basart lead E-Force into action against environmental catastrophe. And millions will die. The late film tonight is at ten past midnight. Before that on BBC One, the definitive lowdown on the current film scene with Barry Norman. Good evening. Just a glimpse there of Tom Cruise's latest Mission Impossible. And after that bit, the film gets quite exciting. Anyway, I'll be talking about Mission Impossible and other summer offerings later on. In addition, I'll be reviewing The Juror with Demi Moore and Beautiful Thing. And we'll hear from moviegoers about the films they've enjoyed so far this year. First up, though, is How to Make an American Quilt. Now, there's a sexy title for you. Really makes you desperate for the sequel, doesn't it? How to darn a Belgian duvet, perhaps, or How to Knit an Argyle Sock. The thing is, however, that How to Make an American Quilt actually is about making an American quilt. All Winona Ryder's middle-aged relatives and their friends are at it when she goes home from college to write a thesis on native handicraft and culture and decide whether to marry her devoted carpenter boyfriend, Dermot Mulroney. The older women, the likes of Anne Bancroft, Jean Simmons, Ellen Burstyn, Kate Nelligan and Alfred Woodard, have no doubts. This quilt, they declare is for Ryder's wedding. And it soon becomes clear that quilt making, what you include or discard, the compromises you make, the way you put things together, is a metaphor for life itself. <clears throat> First, um, we have to find a theme. Now for this particular quilt, the theme is where love resides. So what you're saying is that by harmonizing all these different elements, you're creating kind of a continuity in the piece? No. What I'm saying is I don't want to end up with some damn ugly quilt. <laughs> Finn, when are you going to start having babies? My God, I don't know. Are you using protection? <coughs> Sophia? Oh, Sophia, you filth monger. Leave my grandniece alone. Mm. So, this uh, quilt you're working on, is this something you're making for the state fair? It's your wedding quilt, honey. Ryder's problem with Mulroney is not the physical business of putting their things together, that's okay, but whether they're otherwise compatible. And as she grapples with this, seeking balance and harmony in her own life, balance and harmony apparently being absolutely vital to a decent quilt, she's helped by learning hitherto unrevealed secrets about the doings and dilemmas of Woodard and her aunts when they were her age. Some of these women, respectable wrinklies though they now are, seem to have seethed with passion in their youth and had the morals of cats on heat. Not that this is at all a steamy film. It is rather soft and gentle, adapted from a novel and directed by Jocelyn Morehouse, who made Proof and produced Muriel's Wedding. If it's not as meaningful as it thinks it is, if it doesn't quite realise its own... 